Charlotte. She is back on the show making something perfect to just snack on tonight, yes. right? Yes. New Year's is appetizers. Like, that's what we have. And it is like our favorite thing, even if we don't, if it's just my kids and my husband and I, we're doing all the appetizers. Well, this year looks different, but it doesn't mean you have to eat differently. Exactly. <laughs> I like to just pick as the night goes yes. on. Yes. Yes. And this is also one of those things that would be great, too, for a quick dinner. So you it's stromboli, it. by yes. the way. Stromboli. That's what we are putting together. And I don't think I've made this at home before. Charlotte, how do I start? Antipasto stromboli. So have you ever had an antipasto salad? Yes. It's got ham and salami and pepperoncinis and sometimes artichokes. And just so think of all the things that you would have. Have in the salad. Yes. We're going to roll it up in some pizza dough. Okay, which always makes me happy. Yes. So first we're going to start with some melted butter. That's a good start, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Melted Just butter drizzle is... drizzle that right on the always dough. Always a good Kay. way to start. Okay, so that is our first step. And also, let me add, this is just store-bought pizza crust in the tube. Like, so easy. We're not, we're not making our own pizza crust. If you no. want to, you, you know, I think there's some corners it. that can be cut yes. on a day like today. Okay, and then we have mozzarella cheese. We're mm -hmm. going to put a cup on there Kay. and just sprinkle it around. Super easy. You could do a mixture of mozzarella and provolone. You can go ahead and we're going to put some Parmesan cheese on the top, but you could put some in inside. Okay. Like this is very versatile. Charlotte, okay? do you, does your family expect big things from you on, in the holidays? You know, <laughs> because you're so great in the kitchen. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. When I start doing traditions like lasagna on Christmas Eve, and then I have a Christmas Day dinner, and you I'm like, set the standard too uh, high. It's you know. <laughs> If you just keep it low, same with like neighbor gifts and stuff. Like, I know, but really, uh, this is easy. This is easy. This is so easy. And this is something your kids are home from school and they are bored. Let them do this. Okay. Is that ham you're putting yeah, on that's top just of the cheese? Deli ham. Okay. And then you can do any kind of Italian meat. You can even do pepperoni. I've got salami mm -hmm. and I've got this soppressata, which is just kind of another Italian meat. It's very flavorful. So you're going to just put one layer of that on there. And my kids would say, Mom, is it spicy? These yes. are both not too spicy, just no. a little bit of a kick. You can totally, you can do pepperoni, you can do turkey pepperoni. Okay. You can do, really, you could just do ham if you wanted to and keep it really mild. Make but it I your like, own. I like the Italian meats, okay? Then from this point, you can do a number of things. Um, you can do artichoke hearts, you can uh -huh. chop them up and put them on there. We like these sliced banana peppers that are a little bit spicy. We're going to put some of those on there. You could do roasted red pepper, anything like that. And it's then like we're going to artist. It's, it's, it's it is. Pretty, it's like huh? putting it together just how pretty yes. we would like it. We like artichoke. Hearts and then in if you've ever made cinnamon rolls, that's oh, what we're going to do. We're going to roll it up. We're All going right. to roll it up like you would a cinnamon roll. Okay. We're going to roll this up, and then you just cut slits along so that it can breathe a little bit. We're going to brush some more garlic butter on there. Mm -hmm. And Italian seasoning and Parmesan. You just kind of pinch up the seams. It's very forgiving. You bake it in the oven. When it's done, you slice it up and you dip it in marinara sauce. I was just going to say, oh. is this the one you dip in your favorite? Oh yes, you gotta have marinara. the sauce, and that's it. And it's perfect for a great appetizer or a quick dinner. Well, and it years. looks like you spent a lot of time on this recipe. I love and like yeah. fake fancy oh, kind of stuff. That was a couple stuff. minutes, and it's yeah. all put together. Yeah. Should we peek in the oven and see if that, yeah, that one's if finished? Let's see if it's ready. Because I, I don't know if you can smell oh, it at yep. home. I wish you could, but the whole studio smells like stromboli. There we go. Look how golden brown it yes. gets on the top. Uh, because you did do the melted butter yes. on top. Where yes. did the Parmesan cheese come in? We're going to do melted butter, Italian seasoning, Ooh. and then you sprinkle the Parmesan on, and it gets all nice and crispy and brown. It's good. <laughs> Charlotte <laughs> shared the Stromboli recipe with us, everybody, so you can make it at your house. Uh, go to abc4.com slash gtu, and also please go check her out online, charlotteshares.blog. She is also on Instagram. That's where I follow her, and like, like, like as much as possible. And if you like that. Flooring for the Good Things Utah set provided by Floor and Decor.